Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here. Let's just make some pockets um, for our junk journals. I like to have uh, pieces, <coughs> excuse me, of ephemera built up, whether it's pockets, tags, notebooks, folders, you know, whatever it would be, on hand in another box that I keep. Um, one of the things that I like to do and I saw this a while ago um, to just, there was a couple of them, but one of them was Gail. When it comes to our envelopes here, there's so many things that we can do with envelopes. So one of the things that I like to do is fold them two ways. And we've all seen this before. To just take an envelope and it can be either way. We can either take this side and go up like that, or we can reverse it, have this side flat, and then bend this the other way, and have this go up like that. So it, it doesn't matter which way we want to take that. Now, the beauty of it is there's so many different things that you can do when it comes to this. Now, one of the things that I like to do is cut this edge off and then cut this edge off and then I will come in here with my hole punch onto the top level. Now again this will be also covered with paper um, and so forth. But just to give you a general idea, come in there like that, and then the same thing up here. And what's great with this Recollections uh, hole punch, there's a mark on the side here on each side. I don't know if you can see that. And all I have to do is just line up my papers on each side, pray I'm in the center, and then punch down. So now, what we've done and you can also keep this side open as well I, I just like to cover all of it to get the basic shape and then what I do is I just add some glue up each side and I'll hold that in place a little bit So now what we have created is a pocket here. All right, so let's do this. All right, so we've created a pocket here. We've created a pocket back here. We've created a pocket here. We can also create a pocket back here depending if we just put our glue down these three sides, we have another pocket. So that's one style that I like to make. Now, what I also like doing is <clears throat> I'm going to be using some digital downloads. We're going to make some of these and different styles. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Just showing you different ways to use envelopes if you should have tons of them and use them as a base so that you don't have to use up your cardstock or anything else like that. So these are the digital downloads that I'm going to be focusing on here just to get a base. May not collage them all the way because I can do that later. Um, but these three are from Taylor Made Journals. You've heard me speak of her shop before. It is absolutely wonderful with the things that she has there, um, the bases and, and the amount of which uh, that she has in her shop. So these here that I'm focusing on are her um, wallpaper digital downloads. And they are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So these are just, and she has many of them. So if I just real quick page through this one here, and these are all beautiful, beautiful vintage wallpapers these are great for backgrounds these are great for pages in 
your junk journals, depending upon how you put yours together. But I am just in love with all of these images, even though they may not be, oh, look at that one. Oh. They may not be a color scheme that we like. The images, I, I am just falling in, in absolute love with them. Um, Cause I remember seeing some of these, they just, they actually bring back memories. Um, for me, when it comes to my grandparents, my great grandparents home, um, I just remember seeing these images or images very similar to them. Um, so they make me smile. I like to smile and these definitely do that. Um, so that's one collection. I think she's got like four or five collections of these. This is just absolutely beautiful. This would be beautiful on the side of a junk journal just coming across, um, you know, fussy cut all of that out. It'd be absolutely gorgeous. And that's what you can do with some of these images. You can fussy cut them um, and make them focal points. So these are just a little bit larger when it comes to the images, but they are still beautiful for your backgrounds um, when it comes to your collaging um, or anything else you, that is just so cute, or anything else that you want to to do with them. Beautiful colors on that. Um, so I'm just gonna continue to real quick flip through these. Um, just some beautiful colors. I think this is going to be uh, really great for my collage junk journal that I started. I should have shown that video by now. Hopefully I did. If not, stay tuned. Yay! I'm actually, I started a, another junk journal, um, which you'll file, follow through. It's a whole process. Um, but it's really a lot of collaging. The, the cover is all collaged. The But I'm still gonna add something to the front, the um, page, some everything that's gonna be done is going to be collaged. So it's just gonna be a little bit different. And then again, here is the last pack that I have, just a real quick flip through. I'm sure it's upside down. Um, but these are the ones that I'll be looking through to put together, oh, that's gorgeous. Um, to grab for these envelopes that we're gonna cover. Um, may also grab some tissue paper, but these are the focal points. I may grab some of those collage sheets again um, from Tracy Fox um, or some RD Maze, but definitely going to use these. And I don't believe I had shown these before. Um, so I do have the um, collage sheets from Tracy, so you'll probably see those as I pull those out. And I'm just going through my other ones over here. So those are probably the two things that I will be using. Okay, so knowing this is what or how I put this together, one of the things that I do is now what I can do, so I like to fold this and I can make sure I have a good crease. So I do pull my bone folder in. Now you always have one side that's closed up, which is absolutely fine. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab a sheet here. So I like to set this up here and I'm going to put this here. I'm gonna grab one of my long rollers. And I'm gonna tear. Because now I know this is just under four inches. So I'm always going to make sure that I'm sitting at the four inch mark as I'm tearing this because I'm okay with the loose edges that we have going on here. And again, 
I do absolutely fine with this ruler. I cannot work any other ruler. I find it amazing. I can just whip through this one like there's no tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is just look at this and say, okay, here's where I need to go with that. going to lay my ruler there, rip up. So now I know that this piece is going to fit right in there. And I'm going to put that down like that. Now the beauty what I can also do is I'll come in here. So basically what I'm doing is I'm creating the basis. I'm creating that beginning so that these are all ready to go. I don't need to have them always completely done. I'm going to move that. So now this piece here, now I don't have to go down that far. But what I do want to do is I do want to make sure that I'm over that edge. So I'm going to pull this one out real quick. And I'm going to push this here. And I'm going to pull off that strip. I will save that. So now I've got a piece that's here. And I have my piece that's going to go inside here. And we're going to put that there. And I'm okay with that shooting out. All right. Now, what I am going to do, I'm going to trim this top. And I'm going to trim this top. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this, just on the center, because I just want to hold it. Because I will sew these together. So I'm going to come up to the top and set that down. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to push her in there. And same thing. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just down the center just to hold it in place just so I don't lose that piece. Now the only thing I need to find here is a piece that will cover along this edge. Now I think what I'm actually going to do for that, I think I'm going to use a piece of craft cardstock. I had it here. Where'd my craft card stuff go? I found it. No, I didn't. <laughs> I have it here. Okay, here we go. So knowing that that goes here, and here, I'm just going to cut a little bit above it. And now I know that's actually working. And I'm going to take that and I'm just going to fold that in there. 
Again, I like to let the paper, I'm sure if you've seen any of my other videos, let my paper do the work for me. I want it to do what it needs to do. Now I'm going to make sure I put glue on that just to hold that in place. Shift that over. So now my pieces are held. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew straight down and across. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I did my sewing around got my little tiny tags I love my little tiny tags I love this edging the way that it goes off of course we're gonna hit this with some vintage photo but first I want to get my notches um, cut out so I'm gonna real quick grab my hole puncher here for my circle punch gonna make sure I'm lined up over there make sure I'm lined up over here try to be center now I've cut, got through both of them. That's awesome. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to get that to fit in. I'm going to make sure I'm in the center there. Make sure I'm in the center over here. Again, let that fall out. Now we've got these bright white circles. That's okay. Because what I do is I put my finger in there and I get this to bend up and I push up. I come in with either this or my brush. The brush is a little easier and I'm just going to wiggle the color in there so you can see how I'm dyeing that down. It's not so bright. And I'm just gonna fill, fill that in with color. So you can see I've got just a little bit going on there. And I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Again, I'm going to open her up, get it bent up, and then just get that brush in there. And that takes care of that. To get the, I'm going to put this piece right in here, and I'm going to come in to the edge. of the pattern paper and now I'm going to go down the edges with my vintage photo as well. Now remember we only put some of the glue down just to hold these pieces together and again I'm okay with that. Now I'm just going to get this pocket here because we have that one being held up. So this is where I'm going to come in with the my liquid glue and I'm just going to do some spots just to get some liquid adhesive in there you know what and anybody says that it doesn't clog no if you do not put your pin back into these fine tips they will clog back up that is my personal opinion <laughs> because it never fails. If I do not put that tip back in there, it will clog up. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue down and I'm just making sure I'm pinching that so that that will seal close. And that's what I'm looking for it to do. I'm gonna do that same thing up here And again, if I've sewn it, don't have to use as much glue because the sewing is going to hold the piece together. Like this here, it's being held together because of the way that I put the glue. I made sure it was on that edge. This here is being held together. 
so it's just something to to keep to re you know remind yourself all right now I've got that all closed up and this is pretty much set what I've created is a pocket here and what we can do too I'm just gonna go along that edge make sure that edge is all nice and vintagey looking there we go so we've created a pocket here we can create a pocket here depending upon how we glue it in I've got a pocket here I've got a pocket here and I've actually got a little tiny pocket right here for those small tickets that I like to add or small tags so that's one way that we can do and again I just use basic pieces of paper whether it's pattern paper a digital download collage papers whatever that is I just use something to get that base so that's one style let's make now again this would be the same thing except I'm using everything in the front and so forth so let's make one of those since I only really showed you the front so when I know I'm not going to use that corner flap I do like to glue this down and I just put a thin bead of white glue down and I close it up and then I will lift this I will use my bone folder and again I'm going to trim off the top and I just use my scissors for that and I'm going to trim off the top of this one as well now think how cool these would be if you just like coffee dyed these you know boom done just say all right so now I'm going to look for my next sheet something soft found them alright so I think what I'm going to do I'm going to cut this edge off and I know this needs to be just under four so I think I'm going to do that just like that. I'm going to take off these white edges. Okay, so now I'm just going to measure and I'm going to take that. right here so that's this one and then I know that this I'm gonna flip this over because now I know that needs to go there going to go along that remember nothing has to be perfect it just has to be close so I like having the crisscross of these two pages so now I'm just going to come in come out I'm actually going to come out just a little bit pull that out and again, do the same thing. Put a little bit of glue in the center. Just to get it to sit down. Same thing. I'm gonna match this up to the top. And once again, 
I'm going to go do my sewing. Again, I can't have my sewing machine up there. Look, if I just see how it shakes, mm -mm. it would be worse with my sewing machine. So I'll be right back and I'll show you what I did. Okay, we are back. Now, and again, remember, you can, I mean, to make it easier, you can distress your edges first. Um, I always forget. I, I'm going to be honest. I mean, but I like the difference when I just come over that edge. You know, here, I'll just do that. Coming here, I know I have to punch out the circle yet. With this, I can get this in there. And then once I put this in here, again, I'm actually distressing the paper as I go. And again, I know I can get further down into that and now I can just go across the sides. I'm good. I like the messiness that it, it brings on. So now I'm going to put my circle punch in here as soon as I can get these separated. I was about to say, did I not cut those? Same thing. Do the same thing down here. Yes, I am very thankful for these notches on the side. It's, it sits with the recollections. This is the one inch hole punch that I have. Um, I'm just amazed that... <laughs> I'm just going to come in, put my glue down. I just want to make sure that as it's sticking, it's not going to stick the pocket together. So that's why I'm kind of putting my finger in there and then just really pressing down. And then the same thing. I'll put that piece of cardstock in there. I'm just going to lift this up a little bit, come down go across and then with that in there I can just press down and then I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to come in with my tool lift this up and just really push that in there and then just go off to each side just to make sure one same thing just to give it a little color so I mean they're very they're very simple I mean I know there's there's beautiful creations out there um, with lots of details but I mean you can see that you can create something um, that you know maybe you feel is not so intricate you know maybe some of the things that you're seeing um, have lots of details but you know always give it a try you know you never know what you're gonna come up with and again this is a great base and once again created a pocket here a pocket here a pocket here and a pocket here so you have one two yeah one two three four all right, just this other one gives you that fifth pocket. And again, you're using that envelope. You're not sealing it up, you know? And again, just by putting glue on these three sides, you're creating that other pocket. Or you could just put glue on these side or this these two sides and have it be, you know, a corner rounder. So again, something very, very basic. And you can build upon these too. You know, you can collage on these, add strips of papers if you want, um, or book pages, you know, whatever you like. So that's why I like using these envelopes. They just create um, all kinds of possibilities. One of the things that I absolutely love to do with my envelopes is to take this flap, fold it over to the back, or to the front and then I like to fold this in half
I do like to come in with my bone folder and make sure I've got a definite crease on this. Now, yes, I've got the glue here, but that's okay. We're going to cover that. So what I'm going to do is find a piece of paper and I think honestly I'm going to use that one that I just I'm just in love with there's there's not going to be enough of these so what I want to do is I want to take this strip off I'm going to cut that just a certain way so I want to take that edge off Okay, and now if I measure this, this is just under four inches. So I'm gonna take this and I wanna see where four inches sits on this piece and it sits right there. Okay, so I'm gonna come in just under four inches Now, I'm going to take this, and this is going to sit in here. Yep, that's what I want. Okay, now, this awesomeness. I'm going to set this in here as well. And I'm going to draw this outline of this envelope. Okay, <clears throat> and obviously I'm picking everything up in my hands, can you tell? Let me move that out of my way. Not really using my glue book, but that's okay. Do not want to lose those pieces, so we'll put those there. Okay, now I feel better. All right, so now going to cut a little bit above this and there's a reason why I'm cutting a little bit above but it's like maybe an eighth of an inch I'm cutting I'm cutting above that line that pencil line All right, so this is going to go right here. And now again, this is going to go in here. So you can see we've got the same paper, but it's just doing two different things going on here. So what I'm gonna do and yes, I want that to be exactly like that, actually. Or do I want that to sit there? Yes. All right. So I'm going to real quick flip this over. And I'm going to tear this off. And I'm going to come on to this side. And I'm going to tear this off. Carefully. All right. So 
So I'm going to sew around this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew around this. All right. And then we'll, we'll glue these pieces together. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've sewn around. Not great. Kind of got a little lost there. But I sewn around this, and I came around the edge here. So now what I want to do, of course, I'm going to bring in the vintage photo. Just to add that color. I'm going to come down this edge, too. And then I'm going to lift this up. So the only thing I have to do now is fold this over. Now, what this does is it goes over the edge of a, of a page. That's what this is going to do. So I don't have to worry about sewing this edge because now I've got that pocket. So if I grab a journal, and this should have been one of the ones you, the one you saw yesterday <laughs> or previously. So if I wanted to, let's say, look at this, if I take this, too short look at this page. If I take this and pull this in right here, it's just wrapping around the page and it's a pocket because I can leave this top open or I can leave this corner open and this is a pocket here. As we turn the page, this is a pocket here and this is going to be a pocket up here. So these are, this is what I'll call a, a wraparound type pocket. You can even flip this and put this at the top. So if I push that up to the top, you've now got a tuck. And can have a pocket tuck going on that way as well. So. It can either sit at the top, the middle, or the bottom, whichever, the ever, whatever location, <clears throat> excuse me, you want it to sit. <coughs> it can go in any way that you want. But either way, you have a pocket going in two different directions. So I hope I gave you some ideas on how to use the envelopes that you have. Now what's great, you can get envelopes at the dollar store. And I believe you can get like 80 of these or maybe it's 40 um, for a dollar. So that's 40 pockets that you can create. Um, you know, you, we may put maybe three to five in, in our journals depending upon what's going on. So again, I hope I gave you some ideas and different ways to look at it. Um, again, I do encourage you to check out digital downloads. Again, these were by, <coughs> excuse me, can't have a tickle in my throat here, Taylor Made Journals, and these are her vintage wallpapers, which are just absolutely beautiful. So these give you the ability to just use the papers, leave them the way that they is they are, because I think the texture is beautiful, the way that it is this way. Um, or you can collage on top and use it as a base. So, as always, hope you enjoyed. Hope I gave you a few tips, maybe tricks, um, to get you started and interested in doing this. As always, the products that I used and the link to the digital downloads will be down below in the video description. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below as well. I hope everyone is having a great day. If this is the first time here, welcome. I hope you'll take the time to subscribe. Um, you can see I do everything when it comes to paper crafting. I hope everyone is having a good day. Continue to stay safe and healthy, but always remember what's most important for me. Always be creative. Till next time, guys.